afternoon uh, everyone uh, uh, thanks to uh, uh, chairman uh, malhotra ji and khan saab uh, and uh, all other uh, dignitaries so my uh, maybe few points which uh, we we wanted to emphasize from the private uh, company uh, most of our uh, uh, industry friends uh, they will also agree to that like how we take the india uh, technology and products outside at the same time uh, from uh, the other uh, countries the technologies which are uh, state of the art uh, things are available from outside to come to uh, india so we uh, of course we are having a lot of guidelines and the stipulations but uh, that should not uh, you know kind of an impediments for uh, bringing that technology as well as exporting the same kind of a products and technologies outside the country so some kind of a simplification is required in terms of uh, you know making the guidelines so simple so that uh, uh, things are uh, you know can be exchanged very wisely so that is uh, some sometimes uh, I, i know that we are evolving and then uh, bringing new new guidelines for biostimulants and uh, still many companies are even not able to get the g3 uh, and the in in a, in a real uh, conditions so uh, either uh, the harmonization of data may be sometimes uh, may be helpful for the companies as a, uh, a primary registrant or a primary producers who have already having the toxicological and uh, bioefficacy data they can actually been uh, you know used uh, by, by the other companies who are taking the technologies from that company and then uh, bringing it to india or um, you know uh, in, in indian indigenous uh, production as well so that kind of a data harmonization for biostimul how it happened for cab over the period Uh, maybe uh, I, i think i i request uh, those kind of a harmonization of data can be also th thought through for biostimulant as such and in the biostimulant category also right now we are having only uh, cell free products maybe uh, i think government is uh, reviewing that part how do we uh, combine uh, both uh, microbial products also into the category of uh, biostimulant as one of the uh, you know categories in the biostimulant part and um, uh the the primary registrants are also missing the ipr uh, protection of their uh, products so how do we uh, maybe the uh, government can enhance or en encourage the primary registrant to protect their uh, uh, data by uh, by actually ma making them uh, more prominent in, in terms of uh, having the ipr for that uh, particular product so that uh, many companies will uh, start investing into uh, those kind of uh, um, new technologies coming into uh, india as well as uh, when they have something outside so how do we uh, customize uh, to the need of india uh, so that can be also uh, and i i actually uh, meta ji was very correctly was telling about the complementary in nature so we have lot of myths uh, around surrounded in the bio products which are uh, mis misused or uh, mis exploited over the period of time and government should encourage uh, apart from the subsidy program uh, the biological products need to be uh, in the limelight uh, so that uh, they ca they are the complementary nature they are uh, going to support uh, the sustainable agriculture so in many ways uh, the government is supporting but maybe more emphasis uh, uh, should be given from our side uh, to the end, end users to the farmers to the growers that uh, uh, bio products are going to be the uh, future for uh, you know sustainable agriculture so apart from the subsidy programs and then so many other uh, uh, encouraging uh, uh, programs and uh, uh, incent in initiatives I, i i maybe some more uh, uh, things need to be in that side as well sir 